Take Kalam. Kalam or Kalam. You uh you seem pretty uh shaken up after you said that you weren't the one that told her about your buddy. And if that's true, you didn't tell her. That's cool, but I didn't get that feeling. I felt like, oh, maybe you actually did tell her, but out of anger, but now you don't want to say that because you are feeling conflicted. But ultimately, whatever happened, be completely open about it and explain why. I think open communication trumps all else. And it's driving Amanda crazy because I keep doing it. Um, but that was an, it's an assumption I'm making. I'm not positive that it's true. I just really, I felt that energy. Uh, I felt that something, it, just in the way you spoke. You know, when you really pay attention, when you really focus to someone and they're really being genuine, it's almost like you do know what they're thinking, kind of. Like, I could see your turmoil. Um, it's crazy when people cheat on each other. And it's, I don't really talk to a lot of people really about my parents and have them tell, talk to me about their parents and it's it's uh, it's interesting I've, I've kind of I've kind of come to a point I think where I definitely have come to a point where I, I realize like <coughs> sex is sex infidelity exists up here infidelity is ultimately just are you spending the a majority of your time with one person or not and if you stop doing it, it then you're no longer fidel. I don't know. The, I don't know the root of that word infidelity. Fidelity. So you are being fidel. I know there's infidel. Those are people that are doing something wrong, apparently. All I realized that you can't get angry about it when people do it. You can't even, I told Amanda, man, if she wants to have sex with other people, go for it. I'm not gonna, I'll just start doing it myself. I mean, I'm not gonna get angry. I know she's into me. I mean, God, that sounded so, I know she's into her relationship with me. I know it, she always wants to be around me. So like that, and that comes with the confidence of being myself and I'm seeing that she wants to be around it more, so all of a sudden I, I have less fear of her leaving because I'm just being myself. The cheating comes, I think, when we close off. And just for the record, I'm as into her as she is into me. We, we joke about the fact that we're obsessed with each other, but we're both the most selfish people that we, either of us have ever met. But we're like both obsessed with each other. That's right. Um, so I think what happens is people get inf infidels. <laughs> the infidels are the people that uh, just lose interest or, or, or close off. So it's up to us. I, th I think we can create relationships with no, no infidelity. I mean, even if they fuck, if your girlfriend fucks somebody else, you can't really do anything about it. So what? Who gives, who gives a fuck? It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can't control people. You can't even hope to control people. All you can do is live by example. I mean, don't, if you don't want people to do things, then don't do things. And, and, and live like that. People get so hung up on what other people are doing. So really, it's, you know, it's, a cho it's choices they make out of fear. It's choices everybody makes out of fear. Or is it? Or is it? It's, it's us acting on our in instincts. Because, man, I want to have sex with everybody. It's just like human, human instinct. You know, the, it's sociological that tells us not to. It's the church, I think. I think it's the, particularly the Catholic church. And I think they did that because it was what? It's all about procreation. And I was just thinking about this last night, saying, like, it's, you know... They say use sex for procreation and no birth control because they wanted to increase the numbers. The church decided this, like in, I don't know, 1200 or in that time frame, they decided that we're going to do this way to increase the numbers of Christianity. Oh, fuck. My internet explorer just, okay, I'm still recording. Oh, I'm going to lose all my windows. I have 14 windows open right now. Oh, goodbye, my internet explorer windows. I hope I remember who I was. See, because I would go to people's pages and then like, 
go off on tangents and stuff and try and like read and watch everything and talk to people. Um, so the Catholic Church created this concept that sex is only for procreation, no birth control, just to increase its numbers. And then they started saying, don't have sex, don't have sex. Do what we want to create more Catholics. And that's what they did, and, it, and it's successful in doing that. It is. You have Catholic families with like nine kids. Um, and then they're all Catholic. And then they all do the same thing. But I don't think there's anything wrong with sex. Catholicism just says that there's something wrong with, with wild sex, you know? I say let people go. Let people be. I mean, it's... You know, the concept is makes people a little uneasy because it's sex. But I think that it's sex probably is the most taboo thing in our in our society. The most wrong thing that's not really having not really have anything wrong with it. So, like, I think like our relationships with people are. This is a con. This is something that I think that I told Amanda earlier, that we kind of came to, we were talking about it. I think that our relationships, how we base our relationships is based off of our relationships with our parents or the, whoever raised us. Like, that relationship with my parents is how I, you know, kind of like put all my other relationships, because I've known them the longest. since I've known them since, like, I was born, <laughs> you know. Day one. Minute one. And, um, so... If we're not open sexually with our parents, then we're gonna have all sorts of weird, you know. Oh, dude, my Internet Explorer is doing all sorts of things. I just gotta turn my TV off, turn my monitor off to get it out of my mind. So I'm, what I'm saying is, we have to get sexual with our parents in in the in the terms of be open, not sexual, not ridiculous. That's ridiculous if you're thinking it. It's ridiculous that I'm thinking it. I'm not talking about having sex with parents. I'm talking about being open sexually with your parents. Being open sexually with your parents, it's like opening the door to a comfortable, genuine relationship because your parents are sexual people just like us. We're all the fucking same. We are. And if we're not open with our parents, it's going to bleed into every other relationship in our life. It's the, the most. So it's good, it's good to talk about sex, open up about what we think about it, what we think about them, like cheating on each other. What is cheating? You know, it's so important to be open about sex with your parents. It really is. And, and I've never really verbalized it too much. I thought about it. I remember telling my parents that I, that I masturbated in like fifth grade. No, <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Uh, my senior year of high school. It wasn't fifth grade. I don't know why I thought it was fifth grade. It's weird. Um, I just, we were in an argument, and I was like, I'm going upstairs to, to beat off. And my mom was like, oh my god, Ian! And then my dad was like, oh! And then as I was leaving upstairs, he, said, he told me to say hello to my girlfriend for him. Meaning my hand, I'm sure. Oh, and I got so mad, I just thought, oh! oh! And I walked upstairs, and I masturbated. And I realized that I wasn't telling them I was going to masturbate out of anger, out of maliciousness. I was telling them because I wanted them to know. Because I just wanted comfort. I want to be able to be open with my parents. Thank you for making this message, man. This is my parents and the communication between them and between myself and them is a, a apparently is a, is a really huge part of my life that I've, I've never really delved into too much. I guess it's time to start now. Thank you, YouTube, and thank you, Kalam, I think. I can't remember see the name. My Internet Explorer windows are all jacked up. I don't even know if that's your real name, but that's your screen name. Don't be angry at your buddy. Just, just accept it. Just accept him. Don't be angry at her. Just accept her and be open about your feelings. See you later.